consider a pulse that travels uh, to the right with the velocity v and at time equals zero it equal it has a shape of this yellow uh, diagram so at time equals zero the shape of this pulse whatever it might be can be represented by some mathematical function y x zero at time equals zero equals f of x some function this function describes the transverse position y of let's say a point p let's pick a point right here call it point p it has some x uh, position and the this function will describe its transverse position which means the y right here so y is right here okay so it's a yp and this is xp okay now if a pulse is traveling to the right we we will assume that uh actually the shape of the pulse doesn't change with the time then let's say time t has passed the pulse will travel to the right uh, a distance of vt so let's call this vt okay so well, let's go ahead and see what happens to our point p so if i bring it if i continue it down the point p on a string is still this one so the x position uh, is the same but then the y position is actually different so um so we will see we see that this y position of point p is the same at time equals t is the same as the position of let's say point q right here at time equals zero okay so i can uh i can actually write uh, let's put this is the y uh, p at time equals t so i can write that uh y at x a point t at time t should equal the y position that is x minus vt distance away if you can see here between these two this is also vt uh, x minus vt at point at time zero okay so if we want to write in general i could general case i would write y x t equals f of x minus vt so this is when the pulse is moving to the right with the velocity v okay so what happens when the pulse is moving to the left with the velocity v you can see uh, you can do the same judgment and you will see that uh, y x t uh, will equal y x plus v t at a time equals zero so gen in general we can uh, write uh, well this is called a wave function if i write y x t in general case let me write general here uh, that equals f of x plus minus vt and this is known as a wave function okay so called wave function okay now let's consider we have a a, a pulse that is represented with the function yxt equals 2 over 
x minus 3.0t squared plus 1 function. Okay, so we want to find out what is the transverse position uh, of a point at time equals 0, time equals 1 second, and 2 seconds later. So that means I am asked to find y, x at the time equals 0, y, x at the time equals 1 second, and y at the x time equals 2 seconds. All we need to do, plug in, just plug in the numbers. If I plug in the 0 in the first one, so in this uh, t, then I will get x2 divided by x squared plus 1. And then I can, I can plug in 1. I can plug in 1 into this t. Then I will get 2. 2 over x minus 3.0 squared plus 1. Well, similarly, you can find uh, what is uh, 2 seconds later, and the result will be 2 over x minus 6.0 squared plus 1. Let's represent this pulse function graphically. Uh, try to understand uh, what is the function represents. So the f as you can see in the function x minus 3t, this should be our velocity, v equals 3.0. Let's call it centimeters per second. It could be meters, but it doesn't matter. So and we're going to assume that the uh, shape is not changing. Actually, we can see that the shape is not changing uh, in these two seconds. So if, if I want to graph this uh, three functions at time equals zero, time equals one second, and time equals two seconds, I would, I would do, um, let's say x is measured in centimeters here, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, and then uh, this is 1, 2, and 3. This is my y uh, in centimeters. And then we have, um, uh, we're graphing the, the time uh, at the time equals 0. So then the pulse will look like something like this okay so a time equals zero when because it is minus right here that means my pulse is moving to the right so one second later if i if i want to graph where is the pulse then i would graph just underneath to better see what's going on so make it a little longer so it's a x still in centimeters so we have one two three four five six so one two three four five five and six centimeters and then we have one and two here so what happens if we focus on let's say the uh, the maximum point of two then this maximum of of my pulse will move at three centimeters because one second has passed. So the pulse will look like this, where uh, our pulse is moving with the V equals three centimeters per second. And <clears throat> this would be my, at the time, at the time equals one second. Now two seconds later, the picture would look like some, like this. So if I have one and two here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 
since two seconds has passed, that means um, uh, with the three meters per second, that means um, the position of the maximum of my pulse will be at the point six right here. So the pulse would look like something like that. So that is uh, time equals time equals two seconds and again the wave is moving the pulse is moving to the right v equals three centimeters per second and this would be my uh, x position would be the six centimeters here okay so now for you to to take on uh, from this point i would suggest to investigate a situation where you have where you have a function that looks like uh, let's put x and t and it looks like 4 over x plus 3 t squared plus 1 so try to do same analysis for this function for time equals uh, zero, time equals one second, and time equals two seconds later, and try to see how it is similar to uh, the example and how it is different.